Well, again, it was beyond schemes. I mean, I thought they came out at the very beginning and they punched us and we didn't respond and it didn't get better throughout the ball game. And as a coach, I got to get this team more ready to go. And I'm talking about from beginning to end. And, you know, when I look at the stat sheet offensively, we just, we had nothing from a perimeter standpoint and they had a lot to do with that because of their physicality and, and we can't complain and, not play through it, you know, we just got to get a little tougher. And, you know, you go nine for 43 with your perimeter play, it's going to be tough to beat anybody in college basketball. I guess, Mike, I recognize it's it's probably easier from the perspective when you've watched the film, but that nine-minute stretch where it goes from a six-point deficit to a 26-point deficit, from a coach's perspective, do you have any feel for just kind of what – what opens the floodgates on you guys there in terms of maybe the way you're playing or what you're not executing? Well, again, defensively, you know, it's kind of always been our signature and, and we just didn't have it tonight. I mean, from, from ball screens to ball movement, uh, we just took nothing away and, and we've been pretty good in those areas. And tonight we, we had nothing for Louisville. So I got to give them credit because they played extremely well. Uh, and we got to somehow go back and regroup. I mean, that's that's the nature of playing college basketball. You you get your butt beat like this here. You hope you learn, but don't have a quick turnaround. It's it's. I mean, you do have a quick turnaround. I mean, we play the winner between Gonzaga and West Virginia tomorrow, and we got to see what we made. I'll see if we can rebound and bounce back. Yeah, Coach Rice, Carlisle, and Galloway combined for three points. How was that? How did that happen? Again, it's just not those two I, I just mentioned. We went nine for 43 with our perimeter play. And that's tough to, you know, to overcome. I mean, you're not going to beat anybody that way. And then you compound it with 23 turnovers, something that's probably more turnovers that we've had since I've been here as a coach. And, you know, that's tough. You know, I mean, you're not – you're gonna, not going to be very many teams turning it over 23 times in your perimeter play and going nine for 43. So those are things that are fixable. We got to just clean them up and see if we can rebound tomorrow. Coach, how how do you tell your team to kind of put this, you know, game behind you and move on to the next one like this? Well, it's, it's tough. You know, these are young men, and um, I get it, but, you know, the games are not going anywhere. I mean, we got a game tomorrow night and, you know, we got to go back and, and put them through this film session and, and see if we can learn from it and see if I can get them over the hump and get them back going again for tomorrow night, you know, because these games come so quickly and, and uh, you can't run from it. So um, I'm not going to let us forget this game. I mean, because this was embarrassing and, uh, and you got to give Louisville credit because they played their butts off, but we didn't play Indiana basketball, I didn't think. Yeah, Mike, the, the 23 turnovers, how much do you credit that to, like, unfamiliarity with each other? And is the team, like, not as far along in that respect as, as you'd want it to be at this point? Well, again, I mean, you know, I'm not using that as an excuse. You know, I mean, we've had a few, a few games that, you know, we've had some good basketball play and, and some bad basketball play, but at the end of the day, you still got to take care of the basketball if you're going to score the ball. And 23 times we didn't get opportunities to do that because we we hand-delivered it to our opponent. So we just got to come back and get better in that area and get our guys making shots and feeling good. But we got to get. We got to do better defensively, and 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 we just got out toughed, and that, that's unacceptable to me. Hey Malik, uh, it seemed like Louisville really delivered a punch early. What did you guys kind of feel like coming into the game, and um, what did you think of your competitiveness as a team, uh, especially early, and then early in that second half? Um, I think we had um, great attentions. Um, we had a great scout going into the game. Um, I think we just didn't execute the game plan that Coach Wilson had, um, especially on the defensive end, uh, with guard certain people, um, knowing what we're doing. Um, I had a couple of mistakes myself. Um, so 
it was just like not a lack of focus towards the scout we had and um, just not giving it all when we was on the court. Okay, we've got a couple questions from Zoom. So we'll go Zion Brown and then Daniel Flick. Mike, Malik was just talking about that kind of lack of attention and lack of focus. When you sense that from your team in the midst of a game, how do you turn that around? I didn't hear your question. Your volume was down. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. With what Malik was just talking about, with the lack of attention and the lack of focus that he felt you guys had during the game, when you sense that amongst your team in the middle of a game, how do you try to turn that around and flip that? Well, it's not easy. You know, I mean, we we could just never get it going. I thought, you know, we made a couple of buckets starting the second half and they just counted right back. And and then it just got out of hand. We just couldn't we couldn't make shots. We turned the ball over and it just led to easy buckets for them. And once they got the cushion, they they felt good about their play. So you know, it's just something that we're going to have to learn from because we can't go back and get this game. And like I said, tomorrow we jump it up again tomorrow. So I got to get this ball club ready to play tomorrow night. Daniel, then Zach Brownie. Yeah, Mike, after um, after last game, I want to say you mentioned how frustrated you were with the lack of assists that you guys had to only have 10 tonight. How frustrating is it to kind of see something that you emphasize not translate? Well, it's tough because, again, you only have 10 assists because you turn it over 23 times. That's those, those are opportunities. You got to, you give yourself a chance to score and we just didn't do that. And, you know, that's just, you know, we've been averaging around, I think 12, 11 to 12 turnovers a game since we've started. And it's kind of where you like to be or a little less than that, but 23 is just way too many. I mean, you, you're not going to be very many teams in college basketball doing that. Okay, Zach Brownie. Coach, you were frustrated after the win over Eastern Illinois. Kind of what was the message to the team after that and what kind of led to them, I guess, not being ready for this game today? Well, again, I, you know, we had some tough practices after that. And um, again, you know, practices are what they are. You know, we work our asses off in practice and I push guys to do the right thing and, and you, hope when you get to the ball game, everything just kind of flows. And tonight we just, we went backwards and I got to get us going forward. Last question, Zach. I guess Malik, just to kind of follow up on something you talked about earlier, just in a game like this, how difficult as a team is it not to maybe start pressing and start trying to, 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 you know, sort of do too much too quickly when you feel like the game's getting away from you? Um, sorry, can you say that one more time? For just me? how difficult is it maybe to, to not, as individual players start pressing, try and force things, try and make things happen when you feel like the game's getting away from you. Yeah, I mean, that only makes the game worse for us. I mean, people trying to do it by themselves, it just only causes more turnovers. Um, I mean, you may get a couple buckets here and there, but I mean, our focus as a group is just trying to play together um, from here on out and um, keep going from there. Thanks, guys.